with um, War Strategy Gaming. This is Three Kingdoms, Total War. We are doing the Ma Tang campaign. And we're looking at the current situation right now. Um, it is the year 201. And we have Gong Du bottled up in the Wu Du province. We can see Dong Zuo. Um, to our east, and Han Sui has a sizable uh, land in the northwest of us, and he's a uh, we are currently allied in coalition together. Uh, to the south, we have Wu Tu Gu, uh, must be a bandit of some sort, the remnants of the Ham Empire. To the south, Yan Shu, who's trying to claim emperorship. Um, who's actually now bordering us. Um, and then we know of Luo Jun. As far as that, we do not know much about what else is going on in the rest of China. Um, we still have Gong Du to deal with here. And he still remains to be a, um, a tough nut to crack. Um, and we're just uh, kind of staring at each other, waiting for someone to make the wrong move. Every time I go in to siege down Xia Ban here, um, his main city, his only city right now, um, he, is, uh, he has the garrison, he, so he outnumbers me. And I probably could battle with him, but he'll have the advantages of being within the town. I am trying to start a new army here, but unfortunately my economy is not strong enough to support a second large army. This is an interesting proposal. Han Sui would like me to go to war against Dong Zuo. Minus 10, declaring war shortly after breaking deals. Minus 5, declaring war on someone. You have a non-aggression pact. I'm going to weasel my way out of that one and not go to war. The Great Divide. Minus five reserve capacity. You have a faction-wide food deficit. Food is primarily consumed by your population and created by the harvest of your farms. Maintaining a balance between production and consumption is crucial. Ping D is not happy. It desires higher court position.
Dr. Zuo signed peace with Luo Jun. Bill Turbans signed peace with Wang Lang. Living in Harmony, Ma Tai. Relationship deepens with Fu Gan. We have some rebels that popped up here. China is people, not its oppressive warlords. My lord, how can I serve? Oh, Ping Di's happy now. Well, that changed really fast. If I move away from Gongdu and uh, or Zhang Kai's forces here, I wonder. Let's retreat back here. I just want to see what what his uh, move is next. Hope I can recruit any more. It's 160 at 20. Pottery bricks minus twenty percent or twenty-five percent building upkeep plus fifteen percent income. Is there anything that will give me more reserves? Plus one available administrator positions. But I can't even afford their salary right now. I have another rebellion about to break out in Hanzong now. Obey instinct. And there he goes. He left. Z and Ma Tang relationship deepens. All right, we should be able to take this army out. Justice cannot be denied. Immediately. So we're able to take care of that army. Sprout ever upward to heaven. All right, let's go on next turn. And Zang, so Zhang Kai's army keeps going towards, uh, looks like they're going to try to siege down Zhang or Han Zong um, town. Gan Shale signed a peace treaty with Dong Zuo. So the Dong Zuo event did not fire. Um, 
So we went the ahistorical route in game where he actually survives. We'll bring in the, who is this again? Cheng Bu, we'll bring down to siege Zaya Ban. And Ma Tang will pursue Zhang Kai. Tao Ying signs peace treaty with uh, Don Zuo. Yan Shu signed a peace treaty. Oh, what's going on? Lu Dai <laughs> signed a peace treaty. Hmm. He is still at war with everyone he just signed a ton of peace deals and he's still at war with almost everyone else Oh, uh, now I am losing money now. So what's Zankai? Is he trying to get into a defensive position here? All right, let's let's fight this battle out. Let us strike now. Work the iron skin tea. Be bold, for history is on our side. Will this be it? Can I finally finish off Gong Du? And where's Gong Du himself? I, I, he is not commanding the armies. I wonder if he's stuck in a province somewhere, separated from Zhang Kai. Because I've been just fighting Zhang Kai's army this whole time. For the past, like, ten years. Alright, so they did... They do have a pretty defensive position... Pretty solid defensive position in the trees. I think we'll come from this side. Let's see here, where can we, so they just come over here, they can 
set my archers up here in the center of this position, I guess. And that's what we'll do. We'll protect, protect this flank. Oh, they're already tired. Tired but unbreakable. Yellow Sky Heralds. I want to kind of, I want to hit their flank here. You know what? I, by holding down the space bar, you get the, a quick reference of um, what these guys are doing. So you got like the tired icon, their movement rate, the, I guess that's morale. Discovered something new. Hold down the space bar and you get a little bit more information about the units. Their heroes are lining up in the woods here. Zuhi. Hold up. Where's the auto decline? I don't want to, I really don't want to fight them, even though I'll, Ping D should win that, that, uh, jousting match, or do, uh, duel, jousting match, not jousting match, they joust maybe for one, for one round. Oh, my crossbowmen are just causing these peasants to flee already. I need to bring up Ma Tang here. Let's go up to the tree line. The enemy unit flees. What cowards! Are there? Oh, their heroes are attacking my flank. All right, take care of that.
let's let's charge with the foot soldiers at the spearmen. We'll bring the cavalry around. Good. Paint D's actually beating up on uh, Zhang Kai. Zenkai is shaken. Not stirred, but shaken. Shaken, not stirred. The enemy unit sees what cowards. Oh wow. Good job, Peng D. Good job. Take out those archers. There's got some swords there trying to help out their beluggered archers. Nice. We killed the enemy general. Where is Montang himself? Not even doing anything. I just had Ma Tang just kind of chilling in the woods there. Oh, wow. Going berserk. Oh, Lou Z. I should probably get you out of there. Not much of a fighter. We still got units here holding this line. Surprised. Need some help there breaking that up. Archers are just shooting at the one hero. And their units in the center finally are breaking. Then draw their swords, of course. Oh, they're getting pelted with uh, some fire arrows there, huh? Shaken, shaken.
Alright, what uh, units do they still have? These sword units that are not routing yet? Who is this guy just not dying? This one Sky Herald is just will not die. Sha, sha, sha. I think that's what they're saying. Sha, sha. Well, it looks like this might be the end for Gong Du and Zhang Kai. Feather fan. Run back to your masters. For China. Right, now I gotta go back to Voodoo. Self fury. Oof. The garrison is a thousand troops. For honor. That's ridiculous. They're going to rebel again. I almost want to turn on Han Sui and, and move up into the northwest. I think I'll just. I think the plan will be to move into the Shu region. Is is the hand still a vassal to Dong Zuo? I think so. Actually, no. It doesn't look like it. Oh yes, Han, Han Empire is still a vassal of Dong Zuo. So if I go to war with Han, then Dong Zuo will, will probably go to war with them. Acknowledge legitimacy. No, you keep asking me, I say no. Your choice. <laughs> Your choice. Retreat. General rebels. Cheng Bu. You gotta be kidding. 
Recruit the sentinel Gu Chang Wen. Man, we got a ton of vanguards to choose from eventually. Sales at locking down enemy generals or holding a choke point. And let's see, Fugan levels up. See here, and we're only making two hundred and seventeen. All right, uh, God, my generals are just not happy with me at all. More rebels. Honor us by joining our war. Mm. Not right now. Pity we couldn't agree. Let me finish off these rebels first and then come back and ask me. John Shu declares on Lu Baeo. With Akabali, and you will be undefeatable. This shows much potential. Nice. My passion burns Very away. good. Last rebel remnants are destroyed. It took forever, though. Plus five public order, plus 20% income, faction wide. I gotta get the food reserves back up. Challenge issue, the Ma resist the tyrant's influence while whilst Dong Zhu's request to purge the court of corruption may have been noble, it is clear that this continuing conflict lies at his feet. He has gone mad and must be faced down, and this war ended.
Zan Majin Infantry. Chain Sword Guards. What's the difference? Oh, Chain Sword Guards have really good morale. The Zan Majin infantry, though, have, it looks like they have better attacking power. Got all these rebellions. I need to find a reform that will help increase reserves. Doesn't look like I'll find it there. Plus 50% food, so I gotta work this path, maybe. How do I unlock this? Ma Tang gets, gains a level. Why can't that be faction wide? Plus four reserves. Increase in melee armor, piercing damage, and plus 40% melee attack rate. That's a nice little buff. Oh, Luzi also leveled up. Help me out, is there anything move plus twenty percent food production? Tang defending. Oh, they, they just suicided themselves right into the defenders of that horse pasture. For the greater good. Kai Mayo declared war on Yan Shu.
tools, get the experience bonus. That's the only thing I think I can build right now. So I'll take it. Oh, that army's growing. Yi Jin Li Ting. Yan Shale declares war on the old turbans. Friendship forming. Oh, they're building a they're building a huge rebellious army right there under Shi Fang and the yellow turbans. For China. Dong Zuo signs peace treaty with Kao Kao. Oh, wow, they actually kind of held their ground. Yan Yan. I will show mercy this time. Free the prisoners. Run back to your masters. Satisfaction low. You have more generals with very low satisfaction than those with very high satisfaction. The resulting negative sentiment is causing disruption. And Pang D gets another level. I don't know which one to take here. Mobility plus eight authority plus eight instinct. Go with that. Rewarded our passion. All right, rebels are disposed of. To action. So, and public orders going up, although these commandaries are 
going back down, battlefield surgeon, ping D. Men of Merit. All right. Do we start moving towards Wu to Gu? I think you do. We'll change the army into marching stance so that we can get. I mean, that's impossible. Oh, that's fine. One cannot burn brightly forever. I can't believe I can't upgrade any buildings. Trying to slug back the coffee. I got out of work not too long ago, and it is very late. So I don't know how much longer I can go here with this stream. But we're going to keep trying here. What are they offering? Subservience. We will become subservient. Get out of here. They're going to pay me 4000 Energetic versus quiet. Got another reform to unlock. Unlocked plus one trade agreements. Can I make that now or do I have to wait a turn? Oh no. Hien and Sui. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm eager to listen. This needs our approval. Attention. And we're going to declare war on Wu to Gu. Yep, 
here, declaring war. You mistake gentleness for weakness. Ma Tang declared war on Wu to Gu. Well, if you have been enjoying this campaign so far, please, and you are watching on YouTube, please hit, hit the like button, and um, I would appreciate that. Also, you can, I am restreaming this out to Facebook and Twitch, so you can find me there. Um, I am probably going to end the stream right now and move um, and then probably we'll probably do a very long stream tomorrow or today depending on where where you're located but later on tonight we're gonna do an extended stream uh, we're gonna continue and pick up where we left off here so we will do um, the three kingdoms Ma Tang And now that we've got a, a bit of a base here and making some steady income, um, I'm slowly building up a second army. We're going to move on to the bandits in the south here and try to take over what I think will be easy and prime real estate um, in the Shu region of Chengdu and the surrounding principalities there. So, and I've got Hansui guarding my flank. Um, I may even join in on his war against Dong Zuo. Uh, we will decide that later on tonight. Again, thanks for stopping in for this smaller stream. Um, just a little bit too tired to keep going after a 10, 11 hour shift at work. So, do appreciate it. You guys have a good night.